Okay, let's go ahead and tackle this trapezoid problem. Now, a trapezoid is a, a special type of quadrilateral, and a quadrilateral is a four-sided polygon. So, but uh, hopefully most of you kind of just recognize that this shape is what we call a trapezoid. So the problem is that this particular trapezoid has an area of 27. It could be 27 square inches, 27 square centimeters. It does make a difference, but it's units squared. And this side of the trapezoid is 8, and this side is 10, and we want to find the height. What is the height of this trapezoid given this uh, information? Okay, so you're going to need two things to solve this problem. One, you're going to need to know the, uh, the formula for the area of a trapezoid, and two, you're going to need to know some basic algebra. So if you think you could do the, if you think you could do this problem, that's awesome. Go ahead and pause the video. It probably take you all of about one minute to do, and put your answer in the comment section. Okay. Now, if you forgot the formula for the area of a trapezoid, I'm going to give it to you in a second, then you can kind of uh, see if you can finish out this problem. But uh, we're going to get into all of this in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tabba Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But um, if you're currently frustrated or struggling in your math course, uh, maybe you, you feel like you're not getting enough instruction or the right kind of style of instruction that meets your needs, well, I can help you out. I've been teaching math for decades, and it's been my um, you know obsession, my passion to really try to teach, teach math in a clear uh, and understandable way. And in my math help program, I, I truly teach things. I break things down one step at a time so anyone can master math. So uh, I'm going to really encourage you if you're you know frustrated Frustrated or you know not doing well in your math course to do something about it and I know I can help you out so again you definitely want to check out my math help program especially if you're at the middle school high school or college level in terms of mathematics I can definitely help you out now if you are studying for any kind of test that has math on it so I'm talking about things like uh, the GED SAT ACT GRE GMAT ASVAB Accuplacer uh, CLEP exam, maybe a teacher certification, any exam that has a math section on it, I can help you prepare and pass those exams. Uh, now, if you homeschool, you definitely got to check out my homeschool math program and curriculum. And if you don't have any math notes, no panic. I'm going to let you use uh, my notes. I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video. But just know one thing, if you want great um, grades in math, you have to take great math notes. Okay, so here is the setup. So we have the area of this trapezoid is 27. This side is 8. This side is 10. What is the height? Again, we're going to need to know uh, the uh, formula for the area of a trapezoid and some basic algebra. So let me go ahead and show you right here the formula for the area of a trapezoid. So uh, typically, uh, you'll see it written this way. There's a couple different ways stylistically you can write the formula for the area of a trapezoid. You might... Um, I've seen one that looks slightly different, but believe me, it's their equivalent, okay? Basically, what we have here is this side of the trapezoid and this side. We can call this base 1 and base 2. So we're going to add up uh, these bases, and technically what we're doing, we're going to multiply by 1 half. We're just going to find the average of these bases. So it's going to be 1 half uh, um, of the sum, okay, of these two bases. So we're going to take this, we're going to add it to that multiply by one half, and then we're going to multiply by the height. That's how we find the area of a trapezoid. Okay, so there is the formula. And let me go ahead and show you the problem here again, if you want to go ahead and try it and put your answers in the comment section. Let's see what you come up with. But uh, with that being said, we have everything we need to actually conquer this problem. So let's go ahead and solve it now. All right, so here the area is 27. Now, if I really wanted to get fancy, uh, this was like, say, 27 millimeters, okay, or this was 8 millimeters, and this is 10 millimeters, then our area would be uh, 27 millimeters squared. But sometimes you're given um, problems where they're just going to give you a number, okay? But just don't forget that area is always in units of measure squared and in length is just in a uh, unit, whatever units of measure that you're dealing with, okay? But, uh, so just a little thing here that I don't want you to forget. It's very important to keep those units of measure in mind. But here is our formula, area equals one half, uh, base one plus base two times the height. So let's go ahead and plug in what we have. So 
uh, 8 will be our uh, one of our bases. We can call that base 1. And then 10 can be base 2. And then we have our area. So here, for area, we'll plug in 27. So we got 1 half. Um, here's our first base plus our second base. And we're looking for the height. Okay, so we don't have that. So we'll write that variable h. That's what we're trying to solve for. All right, so now let's go ahead and start um, applying our knowledge of basic algebra. I know all of you out there are total experts in this. So uh, 8 plus 10 is 18. So 1 half of 18 is what? That's 9. So we have 9 times h. Here's our 27, which is our area. So 27 is equal to 9 times h. How do I solve for h? Hopefully all of you are like saying, oh, don't we just divide both sides of the equation by 9? And you would be correct. So h would be equal to 27 divided by 9, which would, of course, be 3. So the height is 3. That's what the answer is. If you got that right, then I must go ahead and give you an awesome happy face with a good old 1984 flat top. That's a terrible flat top. Let me just kind of fix it up a little bit better. Uh, and A plus, a 100%. And just to make you feel extra special, I'm going to give you three or four stars so you'll remember how successful you were all day long with this particular prompt. Okay? So, nice job. Now, if you didn't uh, get this right, hopefully you learned you know, how to do a problem like this. So, remember in geometry, the main idea is this. When you're given uh, shapes... Um, you know, in problems like this, you're always going to need the respective formula, okay? Uh, so it could be, this is very typical with uh, problems that involve area or surface area or volume. So you have a lot of these basic figures, trapezoids, uh, you have parallelograms, you have uh, triangles, we have cubes and rectangles and a rhombus, we have um, uh, pentagons, hexagons. So, you know, there's a lot of different formulas out there that start accumulating. That's why you have to take excellent notes. So you never want to guess about um, your formulas, okay? If you forget the formula, you know how to approach the problem, just always double check that you were dealing with the right formula. Okay, now some of these basic shapes like trapezoids and rectangles and circles and stuff, you should kind of commit to memorizing those formulas over the long run but as you learn learn if you learn as you learn excuse me more and more math you're going to learn more and more formulas don't try to uh, keep everything in your long-term memory okay that's why it's so critical that you take great math notes and you can easily reference hey do i got the right formula and then hey once you have the right formula then you um, you know apply your algebra skills to solve problems like this. So if this little video helped you out in some small way, go ahead and smash that like button. That definitely helps me out in a big way. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, hopefully you'll consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus math videos, basic math to advanced, advanced math. I do stuff from arithmetic, two plus two, all the way up to calculus. So again, my passion, what I really strive for is to teach math in a clear and understandable way. So if you like my teaching style, Please take advantage of all the videos that I uh, post and have already posted, but my best math help will be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.